so i'm back i'm waiting for brown to send a request uh we're having issues getting brown so we're trying to see if we can get um hello oh just hi oh just how are you doing let's try okay let me get donna is up let me try to get donna i'm back Dana, many of you should know Dana. Dana is our lawyer turned poet. Hi, Hi Dana. <laughs> Hi. How, are you? How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, Happy, wow. New Year. Happy New Year to you. You look amazing. Good look. Good Thank cheer. you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm grateful for, for this topic. For this, right? Thank yeah, you. because honestly, when when Willie really started this conversation, I just said to myself, you know what? This is something I'm actually very interested in because. I feel there's a lot of mystery around this issue called sex. And a lot of young people need information. And we need, they need to share from people who actually are willing to tell the truth. And from, share from their own experiences. So Donna, over to you. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? What are your, what's your own experience? And how would so, you like us to approach this issue of sex? I think, I think the truth is what is most important. Right? We, uh, I, I, and I'm assuming that some because some people here here would be Christians and some people are not Christians, right? right. But as a Christian, there right. is just one truth, and and that is that um, fornication is a sin. Period. Right. Right. But well, the question I, I keep saying to people that the, you have to ask you have to ask the question why they 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 tell you don't have sex before marriage, but nobody tells you why because. It's pleasurable. Sex is powerful. It's pleasurable. And at the point of orgasm, the two spirits merge. So that's why mm -hmm. after a while of a, married, of a couple you know, being together, they start to be similar in their characteristics. And it's not necessarily from conditioning or from mm -hmm. training, but from the constant union at the point of ecstasy. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says that the two shall become one and it's a mystery. Mm. Right? Because let's think about it, Moriah. What is this to God? A hand on hand, skin on skin. What is it to God? Mm. If it's not spiritual, right? And the esoterics mm. and mystics will tell you about sex magic, mm. which is a conscious spiritual practice that involves sex. This is what we have as human beings. And when you're covenant children, then, you know, you have to be aware of the why, because if you don't know why something is wrong, then why not do it? Hmm. Why not do it, right? Okay, right. so so that's so that's that's one, right? So okay, if we know the things that can happen, um, but when Donna, having, Donna, yes. what I asked BC was that so when a young person knows this and she has the, the she, for the right reason, she's having sex for the right reason, where she's falling in love with the guy, and she waited and she feels that she, I've tr I trust this guy enough to give him my body. And she didn't want to be promiscuous. She just wanted to have sex with this one person. But unfortunately, the guy breaks her heart. And then she has to move on. So it wasn't her intention to share or to have this merger, or this spiritual merger with this person. It wasn't her intention. So how does a young girl curtail herself from being spread out so thin from different people and ensure that she keeps herself? So, so for me, my personal experience, I was a virgin until I got married at 36, mm. right? Um, I'd nearly been raped twice. Like, my story is, is long. That's why I said, hey, I have so much <laughs> I could say. Wow. But the angels, Morayo, they yeah. were holding me. Their garments were free because I have an active mind. I wasn't mm. a saint. I wasn't mm. a saint. I was getting involved in heavy petting and all of those things. And the heartbreak is the same. Mm. So for me, I thought, why not just wait? The pain is the same. It made mm. sense for me to set my boundaries early on. So in conversations with people asking me out, I set it early on. I was very, right. very hard. The Bible says, work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. My standards mm. are not any other person's standards. And I don't hold anyone, you know, to my standards. Not even, not even my, my boyfriend, my, 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 the person that I married, he wasn't, he was a Catholic. He wasn't a born-again Christian. So he was having stuff. He was having sex. Mm. Right? Mm. I didn't hold right. him to my standard. Hear me? Mm. 
I knew I was getting married to a Catholic. I knew I was getting married to someone who wasn't born again. Mm. So I knew that it is possible that my husband, well, my boyfriend at the time, might be sleeping with someone else. To yourself be true and to the God that you serve be true. Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. I love that. I Do you understand? That. There right. was once a guy that I was dating who I asked him, I said, if you are very tempted or just all I ask is that you let me know because I don't want spirits around my 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 energy that I don't mm. know where they are coming from. So if you want to go and sleep with someone, all I ask is that you tell me. But me, we're not mm. we're not we're not uh, we're not mm. doing this thing. Of mm. course, as I got older, I was it was more and more difficult. There were times I would call my friends, and I don't even know if they're on this call. There was a married couple. I would call them, Mariah, and I would cry on the phone 45 minutes. Wow. wow. Because my body is on mm. fire. Mm. Right? Mm. But it was a decision I made. And then whenever mm. I compromise, I'm kissing, there's heavy petting, there's, you know, there, you're, you're in all of those things, you're having orgasms already. So I'm asking mm. for forgiveness of that same sin anyway. It's not <laughs> fornication. <laughs> it's just right, not penetrative right. sex. Yeah, you understand? Right, right, and that's right. why I said mm. to yourself mm. be true, to your be partner true. be true. Don't mm. lie to me. You this can't do so it. Let me know. Donna, this is so powerful because there are people doing that heavy kissing. All the people are yeah. saying it is fornication. They are heavily into smooshing, kissing, groping, everything. Yeah. But yet to them, yeah. because there's no penetration, because there's no penetration, they feel like they um that they they're they're saints. But the truth is that you like be true to yourself. Even you yeah. know, the fact that you're not penetrating, that in itself is sin because your mind has, has already gone through that sexual activity and you've yeah. orgasm already. So that yeah. is yeah. Oh my God, I, 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 I was there. So even when I say that, you know, because it's easy when someone says, oh, you were, oh, you were a virgin. When, when okay, I need to address this. Mm. I, he's Catholic. No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not get carried. Let's not uh, lose the argument. Mm. Mm. I was a born again Christian, consciously right. so. Right. I'm Methodist. Right? When I said that my husband was Catholic, he is not he was not a committed born again Christian when Christian. we met. Don't don't distract yeah. from the discussion, please. <laughs> right? Let's, yeah, let's just let's, that this is not a judgment. This is just what yeah. this is the fact. My husband was not, mm. when we met, a committed mm. Christian. He was just a right. Catholic. Yeah, I am right, a Methodist right. and I'm a born again Christian. So this mm -hmm. is not judgment. Right. I married him. So how can mm -hmm. it be judgment? Let's, mm -hmm. let's right, focus, right. please. That, We're here right. all here to learn, eh? Please, thanks. So, mm -hmm. so, so, um, my, my point is this, eh? Even the act of fornication can have spiritual consequences. The mental act of fornication also has spiritual consequences. I chose the lesser demon for me. Mm, 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 it was mm. it was it was more bearable for me to mm. know that all of the things um, all of the things that that I was doing they were still wrong. I'm still asking God for forgiveness, but mm. I would call friends. So that they would hold me accountable. I would right. say, look, I'm going to someone's house. But Mariah, let me tell you the truth. If there was a guy I was dating, and the guy was hot, hmm. as in hot, I you don't would tell some. God, forgive your daughter for the sin she's about to commit. Because yes, we're going there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going I've there. I've had one of those, you know, where I'm like, Father Lord Almighty, ah, please, Lord, I don't want to do this thing. I don't want yeah. to do this because... The brother is just complete, you know. Yeah, and you're there yeah. The dancing. You start with the club. You go to the club. You're dancing. You you're dancing and everything, everything. Your body is just moving like a holy spirit. <laughs> oh, this God, let me go to my house. I know how you feel. Trust me, I've been there. But yeah, okay. After you understand? Brown wants to come up on this conversation. But my final question to you is, Donna, um, when we, when, when, when a young lady is in that quagmire and she's thinking to herself, um. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a prostitute. I don't want to be yeah. around. I am yeah. responsible. I just, I just, it just so happened that I made wrong choices with men. It's not like I want to sleep around. How can she forgive herself 
and be able to move on and not make herself feel bad by the choices she has made. We are converted by the words of our mouth, even unto Christ. Hmm. We are converted by what we have, what we're doing now, we are exchanging God. God, God breathed his breath in us. So every time we mm. speak, what we are doing is we are voicing spirit. That's mm. why when we give our lives to Christ and make confession, all we said is words. So mm. when you ask for forgiveness, you say, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. Forgive me for the consequences of my sin. Because that's why I was talking about the, the spirits and the demons and all of those mm. things. You want it to be halted because you don't want the devil to have a, a, a ground to accuse you. And then you voice that spirit and say, and I, Donna, forgive myself. Mm. For there is now no condemnation. There is now oh. no condemnation. There mm. is no accused there is mm. no condemned. Ah, fantastic. Fantastic. And you mm. confess it as many yes. times as you want until you believe your word. We speak unto life. We speak our words unto life. Yeah? Mm. And that's what they should do. But move fantastic. on. Like move mm. on. Don't 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 sit there. Move on. Fantastic. I need to yeah. love it. Thank you. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> Take care. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Oh, I love this conversation. Mr. Brown Kabiti, please oh, send your request. Ah, let me check. Brown Kabiti, I hope you're on now. Let me see. Please oh, let Brown come up. I don't know what's going on. The enemy doesn't want me to talk to Brown today. Pata, pata, you come and sit down next to me here. I have sent your request. So it says waiting for Brown Kabiti. Please show me the Bami Lost Sutter. Maybe it's just let him just come downstairs. Let him just come and sit down next to me. I'll watch, bring a chair next to him. Let him. With, um, I will stand up for him, right? Let's let me, let's do that. Let's do that with him, right? So let, while we're waiting for Brown, maybe Brown will come downstairs. Let me see who else want to say something. Come back, ah, uh -uh. BC wants to come back. Oh, Jesus has been. BC wants to come back. Brown should come downstairs now. Yes, now that <laughs> BC, you want to come back? What's going on? Let me see, BC. BC, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> You love Donna, right? Ah, Donna was fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> but we have mm. people who are not Christians as well. Right, right. And um, let's not always um, assume that everybody believes in the same beliefs that we do. We have young people out there who are not Christians, who have mm. one other form of belief or not, and they're all struggling. So mm. I, I try as much as possible when I'm having conversations like this, not to make it just about a particular religion. religion. We have the Muslims there, we have the Hindu, we have traditionalists and all of that. But in all, even our traditionalists, you know, when we, back in the days, when a woman gets married, there's this white cloth that they give to you on your wedding night. Hmm. So that your husband will lay with you and then he'll bring it out and show the world your blood stain hmm. as a result of breaking your hymen. So hmm. even our traditionalists understood that it was important for the woman to go to the bed on the file. These are not Christians. Yeah. These are traditionalists. They understand mm. the significance of coming home to your husband's house. Mm. But my problem with that was there was no thermometer to measure the man. So it was one-sided. It was just about the women. The emphasis was on the women keeping themselves, but the men can do whatever they want and then come back and marry that same woman. So they've gone to, mm. the, to give out their semen to like 500 women carrying mm. different confusing energies. And then they bring it to that one person who is whole. Mm. Mm. And that is why with Christianity, it balances out. So it tells you what the man or the woman must come to that union on the field. But right. reality is, times are changing. Before, it was Who's difficult it was difficult mm. to, you know, carry a pornography so much because you have to get a magazine first. You have to hide somewhere. But right now, at the click of your phone, you mm. can have it. At the click of anything, you can see anything you want. People are constantly uploading pictures and videos on sites to get men and get women. Mm. Both gender. Right. So it's now more difficult. It's now becoming like a battle to keep oneself till marriage. Mm. And now mm. things are changing so much that marriage is no longer, you know, before it used to be every woman's dream to get married. We have young women now who do not have any intention of getting married. Mm. They tell you they just want to be somebody's baby mama somewhere. 
Now, what do we hold those people by? Do we hold them by the scripture? Some of them do not believe in the scriptures. What do we hold them by? So that's why I'm saying that sometimes we get the conversations all wrong. We need to start putting it out there. Hmm. The spiritual disadvantages yeah. of having sex. The spiritual energy, disadvantages. The, yeah, yeah, the energy. Just like Donna said. Exactly. You are going on the same page We need to put that information out there. A lot of people do not have that information. Now, when you put that information out there, you know when uh, God told them not to eat the apple from the Garden of Eden? Yeah. He said, if you eat it, you will be what? You will die. Yeah. Okay? He ended that information. He did not break it down. Mm. Now, the generation that we have, if you do not break down that information, you are going to be wasting your time. Because that alone of its sin allows mm. the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit is talking, our body is talking, another thing we're not hearing. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, busy, busy. Let me pause it for a second. I want you to stay on, stay, just stay on. I'm going to okay. start about Brown because okay. I'm going to engage Brown now. Brown, right. take him and sit down. Let us see. Yeah, <clears throat> hey, I have moved the camera. Oh, yeah, Brown, you go. Don't, don't, don't move it, just sit down. Don't move it, just sit down. Airport. Hey, let's out. Hey, let's out. Busy. Can you see? I've been waiting for you. I'm good. Honestly, I, I've tried sending my request over a million times. Mm, but I don't know go. why it's not going. Okay. I can't understand. So for you. Okay, so network. now yeah. that you are here, you've, you've been listening to whatever I'm saying. Yeah. Now. Um, I first was saying, of all, first of all, before, before I get in, BC, you are always on point. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we thank God, all, all the things you've been saying, I've just been on the same page with you. We've been, I, mm. it's that's my frequency. God bless mm. you for that. I really thank appreciate you, it. Then, don't know that came up. Ah, don't know how I, I hope you are listening. <laughs> we were in law school together. Yeah. So oh. when she started talking out, you know, like say, ah, I want that your love. Anyways, let's can we come back to our mother? Yes, yes. Okay. So there are so many issues I wanted you to clarify for us. Yeah. There's the issue of self-control for a man. Okay. Because I was saying mm. that when we when we were dating, you know, we started off with the smooching and the kiss and everything. But at some point it was me that said, Uncle cool Edge, this thing and just calm down. Let us wait. And you agreed. <laughs> not every man, not, not every man have that kind of self-control. That's okay. one. Two. So, what is why, why why do we condemn? I know, yeah, biblically we know why we condemn, mm. but people who mm -hmm. engage in premarital sex, why do we judge them so much? Why do we make it look as if once you have that premarital sex, so ah, that is it, so you are you are, you are done for, that is it for you. Yeah, so let us answer this one. Yeah, okay, yeah, first devil. of all, you first of all need to realize one you know, thing we are all a product of different backgrounds, different mm. upbringings, mm. different social circles, right. I was born in a place called Obafemi Awolowo University. I will I spent the first the first twenty years of my life there with other children like me. Mm. Now we have lecturers as parents who are all happily married, who have that kind of Christian value. Even the ones who mm. are not Christian, they believed in one man, one wife, and every, it was a decent society. So that will actually inform the way I reason, the way I think, and the way I behave. But at the same mm. time, at the same time, I knew there were some boys that didn't have a dad from Ajegule. Mm. I knew there were some other boys from Milori who were raised by hardened criminals. Mm. And by the time I got into, into the university, I mixed with everybody. The hardened criminals, the cultists, the serial philanderers, the good boys, the born again, the singers, the athletes, all of them were my friends. And I knew mm. we were all different. And because of all these things, the way we decide, the way we think is always different. Yes. Our level of self-control <clears throat> will be different. Our different. experiences in life will be different. Now, it wasn't mm. as if I particularly had self-control. Because a lot of people are beginning to have this impression that Mr. Brown is a saint. I'm not a saint. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Because, because, because I'm not a saint. I'm, so, I'm not even so scared to express my views my because they 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 have put me on a pedestal that i know i don't need this level now which <laughs> be this one do you get when they say you go just the worker people they call you pastor Pepe, but i'm not pastor Pepe. Ah. i shout in my house 
Do you Thank get? You. Do, you, do you get? So, so let's call it spade a spade, and I'm going to be very realistic with you. Concerning the issue of self-control, what Moriah did understand was that Moriah did understand where I was coming from, why it was mm. easy for me to exercise self-control. Mm. It wasn't about self-control. It was mm. about you. It was your training. Demand, yes, the demand Moriah mm. made not to have sex was completely compatible with my state of mind at that time. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. If she had mm. asked for sex, I would have been afraid mm. that I might come across another gangster. Mm. 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 Are you with him? But she didn't know. Yes. Mm. She did not know that. Mm. Mm. Now, let me, let, me tell, let me lay a little foundation for everybody concerning where I'm coming from. When I was a very young boy, maybe like seven, eight, my mother told me something about sex. You see, you people are worried about women. But the boys have the biggest problem in this matter. But you are not talking about the boys. So my mom called me and told me that, look, oh, Brown, there is what they call glory that God gives you from heaven. Hmm. It is going to determine how high you will reach in life. Whether you become a president, whether you become a vice chancellor or a governor, or whether you end up being a guard, mm. it is determined by the amount of glory that you have left. You carry now mm. that you carry now. If you have a big glory and you are sleeping around, every time you sleep around, the girl you sleep with will take a bit we'll take of some. that glory. Will take a bit. Now, if you now do with many, and if you are even unlucky, you now have the woman that takes a major chunk. Somebody that knows mm. how to how to pack a large yeah. quantity of your of your glory, <laughs> you will end up becoming like a carcass, and you will yes. really amount to much in life. So my mother quickly told me that when I was very young. Mm. So I was ruminating over it. It was embedded somewhere inside my DNA, in yeah. my subconscious. Mm. But I wasn't acting on it. But mm. somehow, somehow, it was affecting me. As a young man, I was good looking. I was athletic. I, in fact, I was a competitive athlete. So six pack, two pack, the major attraction for women, it gave food, it passed food for my chest. But now, to now deplore, to now deplore, to engage in sexual intercourse became a problem. Because, because you were of scared. What my, what, what my mother yeah, said. Because exactly. I was scared. Right, right, you get, right. I was very scared about it. Mm. Now, at the time I was trying to dispel what my mother said. Mm. That, hmm, maybe now old school gist. My father's driver, mm. after, years after, years apart, now told me a story in the course of conversation that I am your father's driver today because I sold all my glory. That under normal Did circumstances, she... that he was supposed to be greater than my father, but he's not driving my father. And I said, why are you driving? What happened? How did you sell? He said when he was younger, he mm -hmm. was a serial philanderer. That he slept with a lot of women mm -hmm. and he sold all his glory. And that is why mm -hmm. he's not my father's driver in life. Yes. So his information combined with my mother's information just locks my system completely. But that kind of story mm -hmm. is no more effective for this generation. You can't tell your son that. It's like, what rubbish is that? I know. It doesn't make any sense. Don't talk like that. You see, people believe their parents. Yes. Don't let anybody deceive you. I believe my parents. Every you see the the things by the Bible preaches. I didn't believe, I didn't initially. I wasn't listening to the Bible. I was just going to church as a kid. I wasn't listening to sermon. I wasn't reading the Bible. But the fundamentals of my moral standards, my yardstick today, were laid by my parents. I mm -hmm. just got to church for validation and confirmation of what my parents told me. That mm -hmm. was it. Mm -hmm. You get so by the time all that com combined and my father's driver confirmed that my mother's urban legend that you sell your glory. I was not mm -hmm. totally scared and I found it very <laughs> You wanted to keep your glory. <laughs> you get. But at a point in time, because the urge for sex was so strong, mm. I now found one girl that I felt that, okay, if you are selling glory, if I sell the glory to my future wife, it's not a problem <laughs> because we will end up getting married and we'll still be using the glory to the get back. Like you're using it now. <laughs> you see, that was my thinking. Mm. Now, I now got involved with a particular lady. Right? And the sex was very... Tell him to put on the gen. It was heavy. Elizabeth, you know, this is about conversation. Upstairs mm. now. Um, bless it. I mean, who is there? Peace. 
Who is upstairs? Call, I think we have to go and turn on the generator, please. So go to your room, please. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm really, really upset with you. Busayo! Pamela Tonjev! Mariah is with the mic. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hi, you can't hear me well now. Yes, I can. I can hear you now, yes. Mo, bring the mic, please. I can hear you now. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so it was, so I was coming out of that situation. Do you get when I met Morayo? So when Morayo was coming with the proposal of no sex, it was easy for me to accept. So, mm, because I mm. felt I'd lost too much in a previous relationship where, which involved sex. And mm. it was very painful for me. Mm. It, was, it was one of the most painful things that happened in my life that I slept with a girl I did not get married to. Mm. You get so okay. No more may, may, I may I pause you a bit? Away. I want to ask you. Yeah. I want to ask you a question. So, we see. I, I like the fact that you started with your background because we all have different backgrounds. I didn't have a yeah. background of one uh, father, one mother. I grew up with several stepmothers in the house. Okay. You go and come and go mm. and come. That's my own background. But my husband was just like you: one mother, one father, and came from a very functional home. Mm. But um, I have seen very successful people yeah. who had a trail okay. of different women or different men that we know yes. of. Yes. And they are still successful. Yeah. And their children are still successful. Now, if you want yes. to talk to a young person who is looking at that person and say, uh -uh, don't tell me about not having sex. After all, Labaja is having sex. Labaja okay. has so many girlfriends. And Labaja is success with the kind of success that i want labaja has it. what do you tell that child now my own story my own beliefs is still speculation mm. because it is mm. speculation because nothing is concrete nothing is in black and white that we can hold nothing is empirical it's based on belief i mm. cannot tell my child that you see that person that is successful and has been sleeping around this is the case he has so big a glory. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that even if he shares seventy five percent of it, the twenty five percent remaining is what you are seeing. Oh, that is so successful that if he had not shared anything at all, it would have been like it gave Bezos. That is what I would tell my because it's it's all it's all speculation. Do you get? But you see, this is a speculation that reinforces the moral standard the Bible preaches. Yes. If you find it difficult to believe the Bible, believe in this speculation I am giving you. Try to mm. sell that because it mm. actually helps to reinforce what the Bible is saying. Do you get? Mm. It is preaching sexual integrity, romantic integrity. It's not as if you are, you, you are, you are up and down. You are not a prostitute. Mm. You are not mm. hitting. You are not. Wrong, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Point again. But I think the, the mm. other point I did with PC was the fact that there are men that the families demand that the wife must get pregnant. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How does a woman handle that kind of situation? I'm going to be very honest with you. Because you said, you said something, you, you mentioned the case of a friend that was in that situation yeah. and lost out totally and is not yet married today. It's a very painful situation. I weep mm -hmm. for that kind of situation. Now, this is what I will tell you. Hmm? Do it. Do what? Have sex. Yes, I, I, I know. You see, you see, these are the things I'm afraid of saying because you have called me. Mm. I'm not ordained anywhere. Exactly. I am not ordained anywhere. Nobody ordained me anywhere. <laughs> personal, personal, personal worldly perception, personal opinion. Because now, this case you are, you are talking about, this person that wanted to stay faithful, wanted to stand by the words of God, and Today, 14 years after, she's not married. What am I going to tell the person? Mm. What marriage am I going to tell her. the person? Will I tell marriage her marriage is not, is not for her? her? I, can't, I, can't, I can't do that. Do you get? So now, what I would say is, if they are insisting, because, because I know people who fell into that category, who I know them very well. I'm not going to, they are close to me. I'm not going to mention their names. They are, the family of the husband insisted, and they had valid reasons to make that kind of demand. 
they had seen people who got married without having sex and throughout the marriage they they, 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 they never had children. They didn't have children. Yes. You get so I can understand their pain where they're making that kind of demand. So what I would say is if they make that kind of demand from you, in fact, it is evidence that they are serious. It's not as if it is between you and the boy alone. It is evidence that they are serious. Because if it is just you, the boy and the girl alone, the boy can run away. But if you sit mm -hmm. the father down, the parents sit down, that, okay, we are breaking our rules because of your demand. Mm -hmm. But so if this, this happens, there is no way again the boy can go to. You have to marry this one once she's pregnant. Though. It is mm -hmm. evidence of seriousness. Now, what I will advise you never to do in life, that I will advise anybody. Personal, personal opinion, no. BC, BC, you see my personal opinion. You know why my personal opinions are very important. Eh? What, what I have uniquely, why everybody thinks I know certain things, is because I grew up in a large community for a long time. time for over yeah. 20 years. I have seen mm -hmm. over 100 families from the time they were in their 20s till the time they were in their 80s. Mm -hmm. So I have studied over 100 families. I've seen the mistakes men made at 30 and how they are regretting it at 80. I've mm. seen the mistakes women made when they were at 35 and regretting it at 60. So I know all these things based on statistics and history. Do you get? So what I will advise is that, please, oh, if there is a baby growing in your womb, don't go and do white wedding. Why? Don't go and exchange vow in because under normal circumstances, if you want to enter the church, the church can never marry a pregnant woman except the Catholic Church. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the, I, I know, I know it's part of it, it's linked, it's it's connected. Look, in the in the Anglican church, if you come and you say you want your daughter to marry, they will first of all ask you, is she pregnant? If you say she's pregnant, they will say we cannot join. Let her go and deliver the baby, then we will mm. join. Don't go and lie to them that I am not pregnant and let them mm. join you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do not do that. Never. I'm not going to go into the details because I've seen people who, who did it. People close who did it and they got into the biggest troubles of their lives in the course of the marriage. You, it's, okay to get, it's okay to get pregnant, right? But own up that you are pregnant. Go and do traditional. After you've mm. had your baby, you are no more pregnant. Go to church, do your white wedding, they will join you. But you are you go there and you lie, you don't open up that you are pregnant. That means you have lied to the Holy Spirit. Mm. Are you with me? And that is a, a, a more grave offense. Don't do that. Okay, May, yes, okay, my May personal, I personal opinion. You. <laughs> this is what you like to put me on the spot. Which one is I am also a Christian? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm not though. Don't mm. Then you don't set up. You don't have to say to please. Yeah, yeah. Um, but because there are many women that have been pregnant, and they yeah. Shirt, have the baby, and they were fine. Not okay. Them. Okay. Yeah. Them. So nobody has the statistics across. The yes. Of course. Of course. We're only going of course. by what we now small world. I'm okay. judging okay. from our small world. Of we course. don't have all the data. So yeah. That's so my my yes. my own is um the church wedding thing is not our tradition. It was for Christians. So okay. not everybody is really a Christian. Yes. You can do your, you can pay your diary, do your traditional marriage. And yes. That is legal and binding. No problem. Court of law. Exactly. No so problem. We, what, we shouldn't emphasize that you must be married in church to have a good marriage. Because Absolutely. Your, the fact that your father collects the diary and pronounces that traditional blessing on you has gone with you. Correct. In the times of Abraham, there was nothing like church. You come, you Correct. serve for how many years, and Correct. then you get the wife. So Correct. Let, let's not always emphasize it has to be this way, except you're strictly a Christian. Now, what I would tell a Christian yeah. who the husband says you must, the, or the boyfriend says you must get pregnant before we get married is ask yourself, do I believe in the word of God? Do I believe that with this word, God will give me what I want? If you are seriously a Christian, you wouldn't even consider it. Immediately, he tells Absol you, you must have sex. You will carry your bag and end the relationship. And run. And now, run. BC, BC, you see, when you run, because you see, Christianity has levels. Mm. Now, when you run like that, and we find the story of the 14-year wait, and no husband came after. Maybe she's not meant you, to get married. But it's possible. Uh, how can I, well, 
Because well, that that is the, the possi another possibility that Moriah mm -hmm. is talking about. Mm -hmm. Or you get pregnant, right? Do your traditional with him. Then maybe after you now come to church to be joined in holy God matrimony. That mm -hmm. is another option. You have, you have had the chance of exploring a marriage in life. Because who tells you you are not supposed to get married in life? Where did you hear that from? We are all <laughs> speculating. It may be your belief. You get, because the, the person you are talking about, is the person happy about it? Is the person happy presently that 40 years after that incident, she's still not married? Mm, is she still not, not looking for a man? Has she accepted that she's not supposed to be married? Yeah. Is she still not praying for husband yeah. every day? Yeah. Well, this yeah, is, I try. have a lot of regard for your point of view. And I applaud you. And thank um, you. congratulations for your new ambassadorial position. Oh, thank you. So maybe because of that, if you can get me a scholarship, I will go and do an MBA. If it is free, uh, yes, that's scholarship, fine, yeah. I will do, I will do <laughs> an MBA. Then, then right. thank Donna too. Donna. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Donna. Donna. Thank you very much. We have to go. Okay, Brown. We have to go. Hey, so let me come up. <laughs> it's been nice to hear from our some of our listeners you know i always like to engage audience so thank mm. you let me let you go bc at least thank you so you. much thank god you. bless we'll you fun. we'll do this again All next right. week we had fun no mm. problem no problem All right. okay so before i run off let me take a few people because this is not just a oh just has been trying to get on for a while let me Bring OG. I think Donna was just a Donna's request I think Donna wants to come back then I'll bring you back but let me take Ojis first then I'll come to Donna. Hi, Hi there Mariah. you are. Good afternoon. What's up? Good I'm afternoon. Good. What what country? Um, you're, not, you're, not, you're in Germany, right? Uh, USA. USA. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's first up? of all, kudos mm. to you, um, uh, Mr. Brown and BC. Yeah. But like, uh, they, let me say this. Mm. Let me say this before I go into my point. The main purpose of marriage. Don't let us lose focus. The main purpose of marriage is not to bear children, no. Hmm. The main purpose of marriage, number one, for companionship. Yes. Number two, to avoid fornication. Hmm. It's in the, I'm talking from the biblical aspect. Okay. No, it's in the Bible when Adam was alone that God sees that he was alone, he needed a companion. Mm. Then God created Eve. Mm. God did not create, God, God did not give Adam Eve oh, because Adam needs to bear children. Mm. He gave Eve to Adam because Adam was alone. Number one. Mm. And Apostle Paul mm. said something. He said, to avoid fornication, mm. it's advisable for a man to have his own wife. Mm. to avoid fornication. Now, if you are married, and that, 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 that would make me say is that if you are married and God hasn't answered your prayer yet in the aspect of children, mm. that doesn't mean that your marriage is not blessed. Mm. Fantastic. The fact that you are, you've been married for years and mm. God hasn't uh, you answered children. your prayer, you don't have children, that doesn't mean that mm. your marriage is not blessed. Mm. Having children is, in marriage is just a blessing. It's not, mm. it's not like, oh, two plus two is four. No, it's just a blessing. It's not the all in all. Yeah, it, in, uh, you, you understand? That, that is that. Now, mm. my own view from sex before marriage, one thing about me is I love to call a spade a spade. It's a sin. Mm. Let us call a spade a spade. Sex before mm. marriage, even biblical and traditionally, it's a sin. Let me, before going to the biblical area, let me go to the, to, to, as a, as a typical Yoruba man that I am. I remember those days. When it comes to tradition, I read a lot and I study a lot. I remember those days of our forefathers. If a young man sees a woman of another company that he wants to marry, peradventure probably maybe he has not been talking to that, to that young girl. He will talk to his father, my, uh, my father. I see so there is so so there is this particular young lady in social family that I like mm. that I want to marry. 
his father will now go as we now go ahead to send a spy to that mm. family that my son likes your daughter mm. he wants to marry your daughter then they do what is necessary they formalize everything right. you understand yeah. Mm. And after formalizing everything, that is where on the day of the wedding, right. the husband will go in with a white handkerchief. Mm. Tells them, yeah. after when, when they do the normal thing that a man and a woman are supposed to do, mm. it comes right. out, oh, it is red, oh, she's a virgin. Right. You right. Understand? Right. What right. happens to those heritage? Civilization comes in. Mm. You understand? The world keeps evolving. Civilization comes in. See, this civilization we are talking about, uh, uh, Morayo, I've been in this country for a while. This civilization we are, we are talking about, I keep saying it, is not our, most of the things we, most, most of the things in civilization that we are copying in Nigeria and Africa, they are not our thing. Hmm. I've been in this country is, for a while. Which is, I have to let you go because a lot of people want to say a few things on this matter. Oh. But I get your point. Uh, but I think somebody is asking you that, so are you saying that you're a virgin for you? Are you, are you married? See, first of all, I'm, I'm single. I'm not a virgin. Let me say this. Let me, let me say this before, before you go, Mariah. I'm not a virgin. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I'm a born-again Christian. I had my past before, 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 I, had, before I had an encounter with Christ. And that was okay. my, my past. And now that I'm a Christian, that I'm a new creature, believe me, yeah. I, I don't want to make that mistake anymore. Okay. Because That's of the good blessings that is in marriage. Thank you. So you don't you don't kiss, you don't uh, masturbate, you don't do any of those things. No, because when you kiss, when you say you want to kiss, it may lead to other things. Mm. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. All right. You. <laughs> All right, just <laughs> Okay, let me come. It's good to hear when men talk about talk like this. Where's let me see, where's um I think Donna wanted to come in? Let me come bring back Donna. Ah, Sheon, you want to come in? Oh Sheon. Kilomon Kilomon Pa. What do you know about this subject? Okay. Let me, Donna wants to come back. Let me try to connect. Donna, Hi. yeah. There you are. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a few minutes to get on to another call, but I wanted to sure. say something real quick, right? right? About this getting pregnant before you're married or um, um, sex before. I wanted to say something. Hmm? To the male and to the female, understand that what you do with your body is entirely your choice. Mm. Let no family speak into my womb mm. and dictate for me whether or not I should marry my husband. Because first of all, when he came to me or my, my boyfriend, whatever, when he came to me, he did not come to me with conditions. A gift that has conditions attached to it usually comes with problems. Mm. If our love is supposed to be true, do not allow your family dictate what I should do to my body. I'm saying this because of that woman that you said, um, your husband and you right. talked about yeah. waiting 14 right. years and you're still not married. No. What's wrong with you taking me to the registry? Forget the church. Mm. Let's, let's even put the church aside. Right. Forget the church. Right. Forget tradition. Legally cover me if you want me right. to put my body on the line for you. Right. Mm, right? Like that. that's, 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 that's my, that's my, that's my mm. position. Number one, number two. For people who are not Christians, eh, Morayo, let's be honest. Let's be honest, right? What do I want my lover to be made of before he comes into my space? Mm. What kind of energy, what kind of life is he a truth teller? Is he an honest person? Is he reliable? Does he come with good energies? Mm. So I say to the male and to the female, the choice of what you do to your body is absolutely at your discretion, but know for certain that you would have to make a resolution on yourself about what happens in your space afterwards. Christian, non-Christian, Muslim. We are first of all spirit before we are gender, before we are human. Before we are human, before we are gender. We are first of all spirit. So as a spirit, what do I want in my space? Mm. 
before the conditioning of religion of tradition of even those people that came with the white cloth it's all it, I, you know i had to do a, a travel across three african countries to see how they perform se sexuality and it's true you come with the you come with the white cloth and then you say the woman um, is a virgin she didn't disgrace us oh look at the cloth okay question Mariah. did somebody teach my husband how to sleep with me and satisfy mm. me mm -hmm. I only found in Rwanda that they do that as part of their culture. They teach the man from when he's 12 how to make the woman squirt. And they say that a man who is unable to make a woman squirt, which is the highest form, who is unable to release orgasm. the sacred waters of mm. orgasm, that the woman can, can go to the elders and say that she wants a divorce. It's her right. So let's mm. stop having this conversation only from the perspective of the man. Right. Do you understand? That's if his family true. says that you should get pregnant, I'm sorry, at what point did you have authority over my womb? What's the guarantee mm. that I will be pregnant? Does our love then die? What is marriage for? If we even look at it from the Christian perspective, it says one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. How about you allow me help you overcome your troubles in prayer? Whether or not I can bear you a child. That's some deep stuff, Donna. Deep. So <laughs> that's what I want to say. Thank Own you. your body. Thank Male you. and female, respect your body. Own your body. Understand as a woman that the man is there for your pleasure and not the other way around. And only a man who is worthy and worth it will you then release your pleasing to. Mm. Mm. And it's the same thing for the man. Love your body. Respect your body. Don't let it be just everywhere choose your partner properly carefully and if you are a spiritual person then let your spirit discern all right okay. love thank consciously you, love deeply love truly oh, mariah thank love you, you. thank you so you. much thank my you. love God to you all right, oh, darling. Bye. Bye. Woo. it's been a long evening we started this journey at seven and it's eight thirty. that's an hour and a half of conversation Goodness me. I think I have to wrap up now. <laughs> I really wanted to bring in a few other people. Let me see who else is there. There's no other person. Let me just... Um, uh, goodness me. I think it's time to go. We have to run. Ooh. People are sending... Uh, I think I, guys, I'm sorry. I would really have loved to um, continue this conversation, but I think it's time for us to wrap up. It's a good time to wrap up. It's an hour and a half. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll post this one on my YouTube page. The first one I already posted is on my, on my um, Instagram. But this second part I'll post on my YouTube page. So you can watch, you can watch it on YouTube page. All righty. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, yeah, Shimon. Come on, do your work.